What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to list, sell, and ship goat orders step by step so you can follow along with me. It's my first sale in a pretty long time. I just listed my Royal Toe Jordan 1s that I got for retail on the sneakers app back in May 2020. It's my only win on sneakers. I know, I know, it's crazy. I took a dub on sneakers. Decided to sell them today so I could make this video for you guys. So let's get into the listing process. I listed these a few hours ago, but I took a screen recording of me listing them. So we're gonna run that right now and I'm gonna explain basically what I'm doing. So once you've got your GOAT app opened up, you're gonna go to the search window and then you're gonna type in either the nickname of your shoe, so I know these are the Royal Toes, or the nine digit style code. The SKU you see in the GOAT app is the style code of the shoe. So you can find that on the label, on the box of your sneakers or on the tag inside the shoe. And if you open up the shoe, you'll see that little white tag it's got a barcode and it's got some other information on there. There will be this nine digit style code. So you gotta make sure that matches up to the shoes you have. That's how you know you're looking at the exact same pair. If it doesn't match up, it's not the same shoe. Then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there's options to either sell or add it to like the shoes you own in the GOAT app for your like portfolio or just share the listing. But we're gonna be selling these. So I have a size eight and then these are brand new. So selected that and then the box is in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with the box. As far as like what qualifies for good condition, I'd say like any major like rips or like big dents would probably make it not qualify as good condition. Are there any issues? So at this point, you're gonna wanna like take a look at your shoes and make sure it has none of these issues. So mine are brand new from Nike, so it doesn't have any of these issues. It was all good, so I just pressed no defects. I didn't type anything in the other issues box, just continued, and then it takes you to the prices and the current offer. So if you look at this, the top offer is $246. So if I want to sell the shoes right now, I could sell them for $246. It's like selling to an active bid on StockX. It's the same thing. So for $246, uh, I would lose 9.5% and $5 because that's the commission go takes you see right there. The current lowest listing price is 294. So I definitely don't wanna list for 246 because that's like a $50 difference. Plus, if you scroll down and look at the recent sold prices, they're way higher, 300, 280, 279. 291, 275, 300, and those are all pretty recently within like the last three days. So I know the shoe is selling like somewhat consistently. I'll probably be able to get like 294 to $300 for it. So I wanted to sell these quickly so I could make this video. So I just listed them for 294. I would say don't undercut the lowest price if you're trying to sell them as quick as possible. Honestly, just match the lowest price because if you undercut the other seller, you're just gonna get into like an undercutting war and that doesn't end good for anyone. So if I list them at $294, it tells me I'll make $261.07, and that includes like the shipping and everything like taken out. Another thing to consider for GOAT is when you withdraw the money, they charge a small fee to withdraw to a checking account, which I believe is like two or 3%. So that's probably something else you should factor in. That would take out like six to eight dollars, six to nine dollars. So I'll just knock off like 10 bucks say I'll get 250 after fees. I'm totally happy with that because I pay like 180, something like that for these. So once you've got your price selected, you can go ahead and press next and it'll take you to this window where you'll see, it might ask you to take pictures of the shoe depending on if you've sold anything on GOAT before. I've had like a bunch of sales over the years. So it says you're a trusted seller, you may submit without adding photos. That only applies to new sneakers. If you're selling used sneakers, you're gonna have to take pictures no matter what. I just pressed submit, didn't need to take pictures and then it'll pop up with a little thing to like share your listing. You don't have to do that. And then if you go to your listings, you'll see it active at the top. So I listed these at 9.55 this morning and then at 11 a.m. I got a notification that they sold. So once you get that notification that they sold, you have to go into the app and whether you're shipping them or not in the next 24 hours, you have to confirm the sale within 24 hours or the order will automatically get canceled. So you're gonna open the GOAT app, you're gonna click sell and you'll see at the top, there's a little dot next to need to confirm. You're gonna click on that and there's our Royal Toes, click on that. And then it says, congrats, please confirm within 24 hours of the order being placed. Failure to confirm will result in an auto cancellation and review of your seller account. So before I press confirm, I'm actually gonna grab my sneakers and make sure they're exactly what I said they were, like brand new, the box is in good condition. 
and everything is just as it was listed. So yeah, these are in perfect condition. I literally haven't even, nothing has been done to these sneakers. So I'm just gonna set those aside and then I'm gonna grab my phone and then we're going to press confirm. And then please confirm that the sneakers are the following. New, size eight, skew, everything is good. Everything's perfect. So I'm gonna press yes. And then you can see it says generate prepaid UPS label. So like I said, the label cost was already included in that 9.5% plus $5 fee. And then it says, please ship within three business days, Monday through Saturday of the order being placed. So I technically have until Wednesday to get this shipped out, but I'm gonna get it shipped out tomorrow since I have other stuff to drop off at UPS. And also keep in mind that it's UPS, not USPS. So make sure you take it to a UPS store or a Staples. Can't take it to a post office, like a USPS. So if you press generate prepaid label, are you sure you can ship within three business days? Yes. We sent your prepaid shipping label to, and then it says my email. So you can go to your email and print it out. I'm gonna see if I can do that on my phone, but if not, I'll just hop on my computer. And you can see the email popped up. It says click here to print your prepaid, pre-addressed shipping label and if available packing slip. So there might be packing slip that we need to, it says please include with your item when shipping. So there's a little packing slip right there. And then if I zoom out, there's the shipping label. So I'm gonna try to print this from my phone. You can use normal white paper and just a normal printer. I don't have any special equipment at all that I'm using for this. It's all stuff you probably have around the house. It's just gonna scale it up. So the label takes up an entire normal sheet of paper. All right, so I've got two papers right here. So one sheet is the label and we're gonna cut that out. And then the other sheet, it says, please include with your item when shipping. So you just put that in the box. You don't have to put it in the shoe box. You just have to put it in the box. You ship the shoes in. And the next step is gonna be packing up the shoes. So I'm gonna grab a box. You can use any box. So if you have a box, feel free to reuse it. This box almost fits the shoes perfectly. But if you don't have any boxes, you can go to Home Depot or Walmart and buy an extra small box for like 50 cents to a dollar. Someone asked me one time, do you need to have like the paper in the box and inside the shoes? I wanna say you probably do need to have that, but I don't know for sure. We got that in there all nicely. And if there's stuff like extra laces or like pins, stuff like that, you probably need to have them on the shoes. Nothing else to do with this except throw it in our cardboard box. And you gotta make sure, once you've got those in there, you have to make sure there's no other labels on this box. So if I turn it to the other side, there's a shipping label on here. So I'm just gonna pull that off. I'm gonna grab some scissors and cut out this label. You could just fold it over if you want to. I get my tape from Uline but you could just buy a roll from Walmart for like $3. The tape that's like a dollar at Walmart really sucks. I highly don't recommend it. Duck is a good brand of budget tape. You do not have to cover the whole label in tape. And make sure if you do put tape on top of the barcode that it's like completely flat and there's no creases because otherwise they might not be able to scan the barcode and you're gonna run into issues. <laughs> All you have to do now is make sure the shoes are like snug inside. So obviously like this isn't the best cause there's still a lot of room. So I'm just gonna take I have some of these. I'm just gonna throw some of these in there. You can see that the air pillows cover the top of the box. So when they cut it open, they won't cut through the shoe box. That's happened to me before. I'd be mad if someone sent me like a like big cut in my shoes that I ordered. And then don't forget to put your packing slip in there. Not gonna put it at the top, cause again, I don't want them to cut through it. Put it under the air pillows and then that's all you have to do with this. And then you can tape it up and you're good to go. Unlike StockX, GOAT doesn't tell you specifically how to tape up the box. Personally, I think this is fine, but if you wanna be like as secure as possible, it's called the H method because it kinda of looks like an H. I like to think this is the most effective way to tape boxes. As you can see, it looks like an H and it covers all the openings. All right, the shoes are good to go. So now all you have to do is take this to UPS 
and it's already paid for. You do not have to pay when you get to UPS. All they're gonna do is scan the barcode on the label and give you a receipt. They'll probably be like, do you want a receipt? And then I would take the receipt just so you have proof that you dropped it off in case anything happens. Once you drop them off, you'll see in the GOAT app, there's a button to confirm if you drop them off or not. So make sure once you drop them off, you press that and then you're good to go. You shouldn't have to do anything else in the GOAT app. And then in a few days, you'll probably get confirmation that they were authenticated. Once your shoes are authenticated by GOAT and you get the notification, the money will be available in your account and you can withdraw it or use it to buy more shoes. If you withdraw it, like I said, there's a 2% or like 3.5% fee to withdraw it to a checking account. So keep that in mind when you're selling as like kind of an additional fee. But yeah, that wraps up how to sell shoes on GOAT. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll respond to all of them. If you guys wanna see the other businesses that I put most of my time into, I'll link some videos at the end, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one.